I'm usually known as the guy on the right. My name is Christian. This is Ian. You can watch this, you know that. Ian, um, one thing I wanted to ask you about was why. Okay, what was the, the whole thing behind the, the video where you made, you know, that you were crying about your life and you felt you were half and you were crying about that, but then you made a video after that and you didn't address it, which, which uh, I guess left a lot of people confused about why, what was that about? I haven't spoken much weed and it's been like, I feel like a rush of emotion when, when I felt a really... Like it was like every time I would pull away from weed a little bit, I would start to feel emotions come on and I would shut down and smoke more weed. But I decided this time to feel it and publicize it and move on with my life. Well, so you, what you're saying is that you're literally smoking less weed. And a lot of people felt that you may be thinking that you were alone, that you're very lonely. And reading, reading some of the comments, I mean, is there a truth to that? Do you feel that you were doing everything by yourself? Did you have a mission that's all yours? I was talking last night about that, actually. I think there's like a, there's like two levels of, of what I want. And one is a group of friends that I hang out with that's normal, like relaxing, and can talk about whatever. And the other thing I want is global unity. And sometimes I... I just I pull, I stretch myself too thin going for that. I think if I focus on the group, it'll it'll expand naturally and what I want to happen will happen. I heard you mention something similar and um, before, um, not a long time ago, maybe it was even like yesterday or the day before, and then when he said that, Maggie and I were watching a video of you saying that, and she said, huh, it looks like he really is going to start a cult. I said, I don't think he means a cult, I mean, I think he means a collective of like-minded people. But I wanted to see what you have to say, I mean, I can't speak for you, you know. I'm not really into cults. I'm not really into anything where there's one person in the middle. I think we could evolve past that. What, what is wrong with having one person in the middle? I mean, sometimes you need a person in the middle. Look at the way birds fly. Yeah, they fly That's... with one, you know, heading... They fly in a V-shaped formation with one flying ahead of the, the rest. It's not. It's, it's natural. Even wolves, you know, packs of wolves have a leader. That's an assumption that the birds fly. I've seen birds fly in big mass groups. The leader may be somewhere three-fourths of the way back. If there's a leader. The leader shifts positions. Like, you're the leader, then I'm the leader. Like, this is the leader. And Sandy's the leader. I think that, um, I don't know, it's not for everyone, and I, I'm pretty sure you don't want to be a leader in the sense of, uh, I don't know if it's a response to, my hair is just going all over the place here. Um, I'm sure that you don't want to be a, a leader, or at least don't want to feel like you're a leader, but... On the other hand, you have these ideas, and you want people to go for your ideas. How are they going to do that if you don't point the way? By watching the videos, if they want. If they want. That's good. I think that that's, that's part of uh, the freedom. The freedom of uh, interchange and hmm, little sparks of... Uh, connection with people. A lot of people... Okay, here's one thing I wanted to say, talk about is that some people feel that all these things that you say, that when you talk about electromagnetism and the vibrations and all of those things, a lot of people feel, and I'm not saying this to be an ass, I'm just saying some people feel that you say those things because you don't want to talk about yourself. You don't want to address your problems on a personal level, you want to make it into a cosmic level. What do you think of that? Well, they're probably related to each other, my problems and cosmic problems. 
Well, you live in the cosmos, so they are related, but I mean, you're not going to assume you're in the center of the universe, right? In the center. The universe is, I mean, everything is the center of the universe. Also, um, I mean, I don't think it's a problem because you have a pretty, you know, normal life. You live here, you have an apartment, you pay, pay rent, you have a job, you do your things, you communicate with people. I don't know why people judge you so much. I, I just don't get some of the comments that you often get. You know? Well, it's a fucked up place, man. There's a lot of fucked up people. Oh, uh, yeah. With a lot of twisted anger. Like Thomas used to say, um, number one, people are stupid. Number two, stupid people are dumb. But, yeah. I think, uh, I, I kind of, this whole exercise of opening up on video, on public video, mm -hmm. set a, a style of, it's kind of like, oh, okay, this person, I, this person's really open and calm. I, I feel comfortable around this person. But then there's this group of people that don't know how to express themselves properly. So like, I like this person. This person is open, and I'm drawn to them. But fuck you, because they don't. They're they're twisted. They're so twisted that they're not able to see it, accustomed to it, and move on. They see it and they're stuck on it. And those are the people that leave comments for long periods of time. But Thomas moved on, man. Thomas has got a life. Well, he's always had a life. It's just that he... He was getting too caught up in YouTube, and when he realized that was going to happen, he pulled off away, because YouTube's not worth the drama. YouTube is not worth, you know, getting... You know, there was a guy who played an online video game with another guy two states away. The other guy two states away called him a noob in the game, this guy drove across two streets to go over there and shoot the guy in the trailer park. You know, so, people take the whole internet too too seriously. And I, I guess some people could say you take the internet too seriously because you're always talking about the power of video communication and how, um, how important it is. It's pretty amazing. But I don't call people nerds. <laughs> no. No, you don't. Any, anyone who insults someone is going to have to come back at them. Yeah, it's a whole finger pointing thing. They say when you point a finger at somebody, you got three fingers pointed back at you. Like this. Charles Manson's over there. Not, not here, over there. <laughs> I like that performance. You're making a video here for YouTube, so Thanks. if you don't want to be seen... I'm not really Charles Manson, but right. I play one on stage. Mm. Which is kind of, a, kind of an interesting thing here, because a lot of people compare you to Manson. I want to go have an interview with him. Really? I like to come with you. There's a bunch of things I'd like to know. Actually, I got compared to him, too. But um, recently, in a message for... But for totally different reasons. There's just some stupid people calling me names. What do you want to know from Charlie? I want to listen to him tell a story without interrupting him. You believe that he's never had a chance to do that? Right. What about his memoirs? I want to listen to him. I want to hear him speak and watch him. So text isn't enough for you? Right. I watched uh, Moy Safer, some, some interviewer. You might not even want to say that. So 60 minutes of you, and they, he was telling it, and he was going, and then the guy, he would like start to really explain it and start to work it out for himself, and then the interviewer starts like saying something like, Sorry, "Well, but, crossing your nose. It's all right. Was like, "Oh, well, but you're, but you're bad," or "Oh, but fill in the blank," and Charlie got, gets all confused, and he's like, uh, "Oh, and, you know, he's, he's so abused, like he's his mind's so jacked up that if somebody cuts him off when he's in the middle of it, he doesn't." have the wherewithal to go back on track. And so it was like an incomplete interview. Because he'll, he'll tell the truth about what he did and how he feels and people will see it and then we'll understand him and then we'll be able to avoid that kind of behavior in the future. Avoid what kind of behavior? Sociopathic murder. Do you believe that he could have done somewhere without the murders? 
he's pretty well. He's pretty like a likable guy, I think. But you know, I don't know, man. His past kind of just happened how it happened. Do you believe drugs were a part of this? Yeah. Do you think that um, you know, part of the reason why it became of, uh, an issue of violence is because of all the drugs lost perception and they were no, no, longer, no longer able to relate to other people as real Sorry, people? Sorry, again. It's okay, Charlie. <laughs> You're talking about Charlie Manson, right? Yeah, the guy you played. We, we liked that, um, that performance. Uh, we watched that. And it was very interesting. Too bad it didn't continue going. People don't know what I'm talking about, so I'll be back in a sec. It's alright. People don't know what I'm talking about, I guess, but... I think if you do a lot of drugs, that the tendency of what drugs do is kind of make you become the center of your, you know, so you can forget that other people are having 